What up guys, Greg here on a special edition of the Vinyl Rundown. Today I just want to uh, talk about how many records a normal person should have and then how many records a vinyl addicted maniac might have and where do you put all these records. So before you, you see our IKEA record wall and there's a 5x5, five 25 cubes of records are all full but then next to that you have another 2x4 eight more cubes and then another one at the end there so that's 41 cubes of IKEA which are about 60 to 70 records per cube our uh, side cubes are actually nice little cabinets the focus of today is showing you how many piles of records I have stashed all over the house in addition to the official record wall so right in front of the record wall is the table of record insanity big pile of records that I've been uh, that's been growing the last few weeks because I keep buying stuff at the Goodwill that's another 30 40 records there's a pile of records that was used in DJ High Noon video video is not even edited yet but there's five or six records from that five or six records from the uh, Rob Walker contest I just did okay what's this this is uh, two boxes from Disc Keeper, Sleeve Town, all the sleeves that I have. I've got different kinds of sleeves, inner, outer, paper, plastic, etc. Two giant boxes. i got to buy more already. What do I have over here? How about a box of 78s, 10-inch records? Someday I'll go through these for you. We'll see. Let's pick one out at random. Lionel Hampton and his orchestra. The pencil broke. These are sort of in alphabetical order. But uh, someday we'll go more in depth. Johnny Mercer. Okay. Here's a pile that's left over from the collection that uh, a relative gave us. This, this is the good stuff that was left. That was one of my first videos. There's like 12 Beatle records in there that somebody gave us. Here's a pile in one of these old-fashioned metal containers. And it's full. It's completely full. I don't know what's in here. Is this in focus, guys? Hold on. Oh. And there's records hiding back here because we've got so many. They're just hiding. We don't have room for all these records. Oh my god, here's a stack of cassettes. One, two, three, four boxes of cassettes, mostly homemade, mixtape type stuff. Oh, here's another pile. This is mostly stuff from Christmas. No, thrift store, thrift store, Christmas, junk, miscellaneous, another pile. We got piles of CDs on top of the cassette player. We got the record wall. We got a, another pile on top of a speaker. Oh, it's springtime. I should pull out the springtime record. Ain't that beautiful? Springtime. Okay. Off to another room. All right, here's another box of records. This is, uh, what is this? This is the box that's supposed to be rock records. You want to be on camera? Okay, then. Quit making faces. Box of rock records that are, like, nice enough to be Next to the good turntable, books about records, another box of records. Too dark over here. We're going to go in the other room. Just letting you know how many boxes of records we have. All right, here we are in a bedroom. My wife was nice enough to let me have one little wooden crate of records in here. Ooh, Bob Mould, Steve Reich, Longest Monk, Van Halen, Fripp, Miles. That box wasn't big enough, so what happened? pile grew in front of the box, a pile grew next to the box, another pile grew next to the dresser, another pile, a mini pile. Look how many freaking records are in this bedroom. My wife's very patient that she hasn't murdered me yet, but uh, that day of reckoning is coming. There's other piles in the garage we're not even going to get into. We can barely move in that garage. So guys, this is the message. Don't end up like me. Don't end up on an episode of Hoarders with records that are suffocating you and driving you out of house and home. Um, 
just try to get a, get a control on your uh, record collecting addiction and uh, I don't know what the solution is but admitting you have a problem is definitely the first step Ooh, what's in here anything good to kill a mockingbird I just did a video on that because we saw the movie uh, some blue note Xavier Cougat gotta love him uh, that's the guy from the office Creed did a video on that a while ago you've seen a lot of these records on videos this is a lot of uh, record store hall stuff that's upside down Beethoven Stravinsky John Adams Bo Diddley more Xavier Cougat classical spirit on and on and on this is not an in-depth look at these records guys this is a survey of how many ridiculous piles of records there are through my house. Did I miss any piles? Uh, I didn't get into CDs because that's another whole video. All right, guys, thank you for uh, your patience. And uh, this is a cautionary tale. Don't end up like me. Do something with your life besides filling it up with dusty, scratchy records.